Guys, how we doing? Welcome to Good Works Tractors. Today we're going to go over a way to potentially add on that third function to your tractor. So you can control a grapple, control a hydraulic angle blade, other attachments as well, for a very affordable price and a DIY solution. So I've been following this company online for a while, been checking out what they have to offer, both on Amazon and on their website as well. There's quite a bit more on their uh, website too, but Summit Hydraulics, you can see right there, Okay, um, actually I started working with them. You're gonna get a discount if you do order something off of their website, 5% with code GWT. But what this is, is basically, this is the thumb control, all right? This is just part of the kit that you can get. We're gonna show you right here. This is for a John Deere 1025R. They do make kits for Kubotas, for John Deeres, or more of a universal system as well. So if you have a Massey or Coyote or something else, there could be a solution out there for you, also for larger tractors. And take a look at this as well. This is coming up in just a little bit, so stick around. This is called a hydraulic multiplier, a completely different product from Summit Hydraulics. It's gonna give you a way to open up the versatility and expand the amount of hydraulic options you have on your tractor for a very affordable price. So this kit comes with everything you see right here, everything from hoses to the, uh, the block and the fittings, the electrical, the joystick, even some hose covers here as well, but it's all included there and meant to be a DIY solution for roughly half the cost, maybe even potentially a third of the cost of what some of the dealers are charging to install. We're not gonna cover installation in this particular video. This is gonna give you just the overview of what the product is all about. We'll cover installation in a future video. Okay, so the heart of this whole concept, this whole system is gonna be this block right here. You can see the fittings right here, 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 all around, all right? So this is gonna end up mounting to the bracket that's on your front end loader. It's gonna kinda clamp on. You'll clamp down with uh, these couple of brackets here and just, and just keep on wrenching it down until it gets tight and holds in place. But think about it this way, all right? I'm gonna try to break this down real simple for you. This right here is gonna be your incoming side, all right, coming from um, the tractor side, that's where your flow is gonna come in and out of, you'll connect the existing hoses right here, all right? And so then, if it was in normal operation, like you wanna curl or roll your bucket, those are gonna end up connecting right here. So you're gonna kinda of split those connections apart on your tractor, you're gonna end up putting this right in between those connections. So in normal operation, that flow just continues on, comes right through, goes through this fitting and over to your curl roll cylinders, that function right there. However, you bring into play this joystick right here, and in particular, this little button that you can see. So when you push this button or squeeze it, it's going to activate what you see on top right here. This is gonna be the solenoid control. And so what's going to happen is if you push that button, this solenoid is gonna activate and it's gonna redirect the flow or divert the flow. That's why you might hear it called a diverter valve. It's gonna divert that flow from going in that normal circuit to curl and roll the function cut it off from doing that and redirect it to these locations right here. And so then you're gonna have an extra set of hoses that are included, they're gonna be connected here and you'll route those up front down to the front of your tractor and you'll plug in your grapple or your um, hydraulic uh, kit for your angling blade. And so you push that button and then that flow is gonna allow you to open or close the grapple or angle your blade left or right by doing that. When you release that button, guess what? You go back to normal operation here, so you can kind of, if you have that jaw closed on your grapple, you can then curl, sorry, curl or roll it, or if you have that uh, blade that's angled how you want it, then you can kind of rock it back or forward. Okay, so again, you're gonna use these uh, two brackets here. You can see this is a threaded rod that you have right there. So you see the little groove that's in each one of these little black slots. This is not the side you want to mount this on. You want to mount it on the inside rail. I'm just showing it here so it's easier for you guys to see. But you would put it on there, kind of just clamp one side and then clamp the other side. And then you're just going to use your wrenches, tighten it down so it squeezes, and that's how it's going to hold in place. So here you're going to have your short hose sections that are just going to kind of go from uh, point A from point B on the tractor side to the block and then vice versa uh, from the block up to the uh, rest of your hoses there. And then you're also going to have your long sections right here that are going to go from the diverter portion of that block all the way up front to where the business end of it's going to be down at the, uh, the front of the loader arms. And so then this is actually going to go right onto the end of those hoses comes with the clamp, you can see here, you'll just undo this and then put it right around uh, the tube on your loader up front. Clamp it down, just adjust it accordingly so that it can fit uh, the way you want it to. And then this is where you're gonna plug in the hydraulics, the fittings for your hydraulics that control your grapple, 
your hydraulic blade, whatever it might be. And the last thing I want to show you is that there are going to be some electrical components included as well. Uh, you're going to have a control circuit that goes all the way up to the solenoid. This will actually end up just uh, plugging right into the solenoid right up here. And then you're going to have the other end of that circuit that is actually going to tie into the power system on your tractor. You can see there are some fuses included as well uh, to make sure that everything is protected accordingly. Okay, we have a hydraulic multiplier kit here hydraulic multiplication, okay? You have one incoming feed, and then you have a bunch of outgoing feeds or choices that you can make. You're gonna see, this is called a six block right here. It gives you five additional functions. Let me try to paint a picture for you on how this works. So if you have a six block multiplier like what you see here, it's gonna give you five additional functions because you need to have one function that's on your tractor already, say come, a third function coming out the back. So you don't have to have a six block hydraulic multiplier here. They make them in a two, so you can just have one extra function or a three, so you can have two extra functions. Basically, you take whatever the number is, so six uh, cylinders, six ports that are on here, it's gonna give you five additional functions, right? So if you have one third function coming off the back of your machine already, and you plug this into it, you're kind of sacrificing that initial one that you plugged in. But you're gonna control everything then right through this block here, it's all solenoid operated. You don't run all of these at the same time. It's not really designed to do that. You basically have a control panel that's gonna be mounted on the operator station of your tractor. You select which circuit you need to run, you operate it, and then you switch back to another one and just keep on going down the line. So let's give you a look at what all is included in a system like this and just how it would operate. Okay, so similar to the diverter kit that we talked about uh, for the front end loader, this is gonna kinda come with a complete package of what you need, all the hydraulic stuff here, and then all the electrical stuff as well. I wanna give you a close up view right here of the control that's actually just gonna mount right in the operator station, whether you have an open station or a cab, I don't think that really matters. But you can see here, this is gonna be your, uh, your switch panel right here, where you can kinda just turn individually on and off for the circuit that you want to control. So you might think it's kind of weird and that you want to run more than one of these circuits at the same time, but in most cases that's not really going to be what you're doing. So in my application I'm adding this on to my 4066R. I've got a hydraulic top and a tilt kit. I only need to use those kind of functions sporadically, just here or there to make an adjustment. I'm going to be adding on a rear mounted snow blower that's going to have a hydraulic chute rotation, a hydraulic deflector, and then also a hydraulic back drag. So that's five functions right there that I need. I don't really need to use any of those at the same time. So I'm just gonna select which circuit I need to use, make that adjustment, maybe rotate the chute if I need to, adjust the deflector if I need to, maybe raise up or lower the hydraulic back drag, and then I go on to what I'm doing and I just I click a button and I switch to the other function that I need to adjust at that point. You're also gonna see all of your cabling and harnesses are included to be able to hook up to all of the solenoids right here that are on top of the, the hydraulic multiplier block there, as well as feeding everything to the control panel and then right on down to the battery terminals as well. So as you can see here, there's also a mounting bracket that is included with some uh, bolt patterns there to hopefully match up with what you have available on your tractor. Who knows, you may have to custom make a little something to make it work, but at least you have something included. So this is gonna be something new for me installing this. I will kind of walk you through it as I do it uh, in an upcoming video in the near future, but I'm not gonna pretend like I've ever done this before because I haven't. It's something that I wanna do and improve my machine. So hopefully you can learn from my mistakes and it goes a lot smoother for you. You know, so this is my 4066R here and kind of one of those rear functions that I'm talking about is something like this, this third function here, or you could have a fourth or a fifth. It doesn't really matter. You have to have something on the back there that you can kind of plug into already to make that hydraulic multiplier work. You know, I first got that idea when I had a tractor come in. It was a John Deere 4720. I hit on that a little bit in a video a few months ago, um, but it was a really cool concept. It's the first time I had even seen it. I wish I would have paid more attention to actually how it was installed and routed at that point. So I'm gonna have to kind of learn from the beginning when I install it on this machine right here, but I'm looking forward to it. So whether you're looking to add a diverter kit to the front of your tractor to maybe operate that grapple or that hydraulic blade, or maybe a hydraulic multiplier just to get more functions on your machine at a more affordable price and getting a fourth and a fifth kit or a traditional style of setup of remote, Summit Hydraulics has a lot of good solutions. There's gonna be a link below in the description to where you can go to get more information on these products and you can get 5% off anything on their website with code GWT. 
As always, I strive to make informative videos for you guys, so I would really appreciate it. A thumbs up, a thumbs down, and hitting that subscribe button, that would really help me out. And make sure you read through that description below for all sorts of cool tractor stuff for us tractor owners. Mm -hmm.